on you guys. My name is Rage and we are back today with another video guide and playthrough here for the next tier of Catalyst of Change. It's a daily challenge that does actually require um, only blasters. So that's why it makes it actually one of the, in my opinion, one of the hardest challenges to go through because there's not really a great mixture of defensive characters. Uh, with that being said, you can see the recommendations are a little um, tedious as well, but we were able to actually get through with a 260K total power team. So I'm gonna dive right in here. I already have it filtered by the blasters. I'll show you guys my top five characters that I utilize as well as the gameplay. Um, I do have to say Ultron is gonna be a staple here. Uh, key reason we're bringing him on board is because of his factory upgrade in which he has the chance to summon two to three uh, Ultron minions and they provide immense value because they can speed up defense up as well as heal so really really crucial um, Ultron's definitely a key piece if you guys have him unlocked for the Catalyst of Change um, especially when it only requires the blaster characters being allowed to participate you can see with the ISO 8 here I find he does uh, shine with either Striker or Skirmisher uh, really synergizing with the other characters on our team to have that additional DPS as you'll see in the gameplay. Next, we are bringing on Crystal here. Uh, key reason for her is she's going to have some synergy with Black Bolt, but really with her, I do love the fact that she's defensive-minded. Um, she's got sustainability and healing, um, especially for Inhumans, but really for her, I'm bringing her because she can provide additional damage as well as the slow and bleed when needed, in addition to some AoE damage as well. So, I mean, don't have her built up too crazy here, but uh, she is going to synergize extremely well with Black Bolt, who's going to also prove to be another key piece for our roster. Uh, Silver Surfer is going to be the new one. Um, I'm proud to say that a lot of free-to-play players have been able to unlock Silver Surfer as well. So we're going to see first town how much value he can add. I only got him at 36k here, as you can see, at tier 11. But already at this power level, you're going to see the amount... The immense benefit he can provide really the key thing for him is his uh, passive the power cosmic where not only does he get defense up when he starts up but as well he uh, also essentially gains um the 50 percent increased focus so even him being a lower level he's gonna still be able to have a lot of value as well as um his allies also gaining additional focus especially if they're hero cosmic aka black bolt's gonna gain some in a really good value with having silver surfer on his side so that's why we're bringing him on board for the iso 8 you're gonna find he truly shines with striker because he gets that additional additional strike in addition uh really being able to kind of take away copy the uh, opponent's positives as well as transferring negative conditions when needed especially thanks to his basic attack um, next, I mentioned before already, uh, Black Bolt's going to be a key piece, in my opinion. Him and uh, Ultron are the two core pieces for this team. And really, really bringing on Black Bolt's going to have immense synergy with Crystal. That's really why we actually opt to bring her in, because of that fact that she can actually heal him. You can see that I have T4'd all of his abilities. His damage is going to be really immense, especially when we utilize his ultimate here. Thanks to Ultron's uh, offense up, You're, we're going to do some really crazy damage. And that's really... We're going to do some really crazy damage here, and that's really what's going to add some in immense value there. And then last but not least, we are actually going to bring on board Falcon. Uh, I got uh, Falcon built up because of the fact that Doom Chapter 3, uh, the Power Armor team, seemed to be one of the best teams. On top of that, I do like Falcon's kit overall really nicely because he provides immense speed up for the team. So this really just synergizes the rest of their blaster team here. On top of that, um, especially when he gets the benefits from Ultron, he's going to have some nice ultimate damage here, especially with that offense up when applied accordingly. So... Um, it, for his ISO 8, it is going to be actually the Raider too, so he has that chance of landing the, uh, the vulnerabilities and really allowing our Black Bolt as well as uh, our uh, Silver Surfer to utilize their Striker uh, t um, ISO 8s to really take advantage of that extra da uh, damage. So with that being said, you guys, um, that is my Fallout 5-man roster totaling 260k. Let's dive right into the gameplay. Placement Y here is you guys. Uh, you can see that I do have Falcon and Crystal on the corners because usually my weaker guys, I do usually put them in the corner and followed by Silver Surfer. Just do, even though he has like one of the lowest teams level on the team, he's still uh, way better statistics than Crystal as well as Falcon. He's got better resistance uh, due to his capabilities. So that's why he's in the center. Usually any centered uh, allies do get targeted the most. And then as well, I got Ultron and Black Bolt uh, just being in those, uh, those back corners just to kind of reduce that hit. But as well, again, um, Silver Surfer, if he's getting damage and taking damage, it's not going to be a big deal. So from the vet, very get-go, you guys, uh, we do want a couple, we do want to target a couple of key things. Uh, first and foremost, Falcon activating the speed up for the turn meter. Um, the two targets I do recommend taking down right away is going to be um, Scientist Supreme. You see that I do apply a slow here on the thing just because he does move slower. But right from the beginning, you see that I use Black Bolt Special 
the ply on Science of Supreme. Um, due to the fact that we don't want her uh, lasting, um, she has the revive capability and as well, she can also flip um, the negative conditions on her team. So we take her out right away. And really at this moment, I do recommend taking down squishier targets uh, being uh, Psylocke as well as Corvus. Um, you can keep in mind too, um, Culpsidian, he's going to be able to have that defense up and taunt. So that's why I do want to start taking away some damage from him. Unfortunately, he's likely to take up a few turns here uh, just due to the fact that he has that taunt. So you can definitely get started on him at the beginning. Corvus will have that stealth capability. And I think it's just uh, really pesky in this round because of the fact that, you know, you have a cleanser such as Scientist Supreme. You have Psylocke cleansing. And really, you have to bypass that original taunt in the beginning with uh, Cull Obsidian. So once we have that opportunity to actually remove it, you can see um, he's actually quite low health. And what actually happened is Crystal's damage AoE actually hit uh, Corvus and then we were able to finish that off with Black Bolt. So, so as long as you guys are able to do some AOE damage, that's who I would recommend. Um, following that, you can see I do actually target uh, Proxima Midnight in the corner there, just because of the fact that Silver Surfer has that AOE damage. And we'll call Obsidian very, very weak. Uh, we can definitely try to finish him off. You can see how weak I'm getting right there with Falcon. But again, this is a good opportunity here. Um, to allocate damage accordingly. I, we always keep in mind where their speed and turn meter is going, right? So, so as long as we're able to get that chance before them, we can still allocate damage accordingly. And as well, um, the next wave actually does spawn at seven out of 11 enemies. So we really want to be strategic here. You can see that we're trying to weaken them as much as possible before the next wave, as you're going to see that there's going to be a lot of enemies we got to take down um, being the Fantastic Four. So at this moment, um, now that I'm feeling pretty comfortable, uh, thanks to Ultron generating those minions, really kind of giving us those regions gen and buffs we go ahead finish off proximity midnight as the fourth target there and we go ahead now and actually target a uh, graviton once again black bolt's coming in clutch because the moment we get them below that health threshold you can see how useful it is for black bolt to actually finish them off and uh, again the sooner the better with the thing being quite weak here especially before this next wave comes i do recommend if he's quite, quite weak finish him off before this last wave because this is where that powerful wave does come um it's pretty much a full fantastic four team you can see how much damage they do thanks to uh, you know the, the synergies of the Fantastic Four, but fortunately with Silver Surfer having a strong resistance and defense You can see that's really what kind of pulled through for us uh, if they hit our crystal or Falcon I'm not sure they would have lived so that's where the RNG is gonna lie in this opportunity You can see with Namor as well. We get very very close to actually uh, losing one of our guys So definitely I definitely believe you can use a stronger team for this uh, for me I just kept trying with this uh, team level and I got lucky in the sense that uh, it finally prevailed for me um, so Namor down, uh, Pyro as well because of the fact that they're, excuse me, uh, Human Torch as well because of the fact that they are squishier. And now we can actually go ahead and focus Mr. Fantastic or Invisible Woman. Personally, I do prefer Mr. Fantastic because he has more of the damage output. Honestly speaking, Invisible Woman doesn't provide a lot of um, capabilities offensively. But keep in mind as well, uh, if the Fantastic Four was alive and I wasn't able to target Human Torch as well as Namor at the beginning, um, this could have been a very dis different situation, right? We got lucky in the sense that none of our guys got taken out. You can see how low their health pool was. Uh, but fortunately, um, again, Ms. Invisible Woman doesn't do a lot of damage. And for our team, uh, we just had the right attacks being taken, especially Ultron having clones to soak up. And really, uh, when Invisible Woman's the last target here, that's when I do feel a bit of confidence. You can see Crystal is getting quite low, so I got a little nervous there. But uh, so as long as you guys are able to build up the ISO 8s, as mentioned in the character review at the beginning, as well as being able to have that placement, uh, it's going to take a little bit of luck for sure. Again, it didn't take me um, the first try to get through this. I was always close, and I got the two-star unlock, but it took a little bit of luck and RNG to actually get to the three-star unlock here. So definitely, I would say, if you guys have this exact same team and roster, I recommend building up Crystal or Falcon as blasters. Uh, for me, I just wanted to see how low I can actually unlock this. So there you guys have it. Those are the five I've utilized, and definitely, it's amazing because of the fact that Silver Surfer's AoE damage, his ability block, and being able to stip away their positive bus really did prevail for me on this team. So there you guys have it. Tier 11 3-star unlock. Hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.